Today we're going to build the Estes Condor rubber band powered plane. Okay, we got all the pieces laid out now. Let's see if we can put this little thing together. Now the directions are not real good. They're a little hard to read. They don't explain much, so we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants on this one and figuring it out as we go. Here's your rubber bands. Propeller. Looks like the wheels are wrapped around it here. Unlock the wheels. There we go. They're going to go right in there, but I think we'll put the rubber band in first. Now this is one long piece of rubber band. We'll get it all apart here and we'll have to tie it together. The ends. There's your rubber band tied together. We've got two loops. Let's see if we can feed it through the nose piece here. Remember we're figuring this out as we go. Let's try it like this. Yeah, that seems to work. Okay, we got it pulled through. Let's hook it to the end of the propeller here. And we'll pull it on through. Looks like two loops was too long of a rubber band. Let's put three loops in it. Feed it through again. Remember, we're figuring this out as we go. It says on the package for six plus years, maybe I should have found me a six year old to help me put this together. All right, let's hook the rubber band on to the end of the propeller. And we'll pull the slack on the rubber band. Pull it through. Whoops. Pull it out. Well, we'll do it again here. Feed it through. Three loops, it's not easy to feed it through there, but we're getting it. Okay, let's pull it on through here. Be sure that grommet on the end of the propeller here slips in that hole on the front nose piece. There it is. Now hook the rubber band on the hook in the back. There's your rubber band. And yeah, let's see if we can get the wheels in here. They fit in a little slot right here under the nose piece. Not easy to put them in there. Oops. I think we're getting it in the slot now. Yeah, I think it's in. Yeah, we'll look at it, make sure it goes in good. Push it on in. There we go. Now we got the wheels on. The 
wing unfolds here, it's taped together. Fits over a little slot right here on the fuselage. Doesn't seem to want to go in though. Whoops, backwards. The round corners go to the front. I'm not sure that's going to stay on there. I think we got it on now. Let's put the rudder, better put the elevator in first, I guess. There's a slot here for the rudder to go through. Slips right in, there it is. Okay, that's in. Okay. It lines up counterclockwise. That worked, okay. Let's put the decals on. This one goes on top of the wing. By the way, they don't tell you this, but you have to look on the front of the package, you can see where everything is. Wings gonna stay on there. This goes on the side of the fuselage. Right here. I don't know about that wing. We have another one that goes on this side of the fuselage. Oh, there's that wing again. Alright. Oh, looky here. Double sided tape. They didn't tell us anything about that. We'll pull the top piece off. Now this will hold the wing on. See, they don't tell you this in the directions. You gotta figure this out as you go. Now that wing's on there. Let's put the decals on the rudder and elevator. This Estus goes on the rudder, one on each side. Right about here. We got one for the other side. Okay. Now the decal's on the elevator. This triangle goes on the right side. And the name Condor goes on the left side. And there's your decals. The plane is built. It's ready to go. Let's go fly it. We may try it indoor and outdoor. Okay, you wind the motor clockwise. So you get the rubber band good and wound up. Now we're gonna be flying it into the wind. It doesn't fly real good into the wind.
Okay, let's try it again. This time we're going to fly it with the wind. Not real happy with this plane. It's not as nice as the wooden ones. Directions weren't real good. You had to figure it out as you went. There's a not not too bad a flight. Don't fly very good outside. We'll go inside here in just a few. Okay, we're inside now. Let's see how it does. No, that's not too bad. We'll try it again. Crash right into the fireplace. I have a little trouble keeping that rudder on. Nothing holding it in, it just slips into a slot. That's a pretty good flight. So it looks like it flies a little better indoor. Good flight. Landed kind of bad, but oh well. Not real happy with this plane. I like the wooden ones better. This one, uh, to adjust the flight up and down, you have to bend the rudder or the elevator. On the wooden ones, you just slide the wing back and forth. 